Costa Rica is a small country of 4 million people. In 2009, the Ministry of Culture and the National Libraries requested a campaign to address a particular problem. Costa Ricans, especially the younger generations, have neglected reading. The very few who do read are more influenced by what they see on TV, in the movies, and on the Internet, abandoning their culture and roots. The idea of this campaign was not to fight this tendency, but to use it. The goal is to get the younger generations involved in reading and engage them through interesting and entertaining venues with the stories, rich in identity and culture, of Costa Rican authors. Interesting Definition But in 2009, we created the first soundtrack of a movie you will never see. So, 18 popular Costa Rican musicians from different musical backgrounds were each given a local writer's book to read. They created music for each story like a movie soundtrack, but the soundtrack of a movie you'll never see. By reading the books, however, it is possible to imagine that movie. These soundtracks were then compiled into an album, and the launch of the album was divided into three stages. Phase One's expectation campaign was geared toward radio, press, social networks, blogs, and music-specialized websites. In these media, the soundtrack was promoted through teasers and trailers. Soon, people began getting involved with the project, speculating about the soundtrack of movies that were never going to be seen. We also placed posters and collateral material in music stores, colleges, and nightclubs, resulting in free mass media coverage and increasing expectations of the project. Here, we gave away singles to different radio stations and TV music channels. The response was immediate. In only three weeks, two singles rose to the top ten on many radio stations, increasing the project's popularity and stimulating young people to ask, what was the story behind these songs? Y cada canción viene siendo la banda sonora de estos libros. Okay. Porque es una forma de, de pues, The campaign was finally revealed on one of the country's more popular radio programs. The disc was described as containing 18 soundtracks of Costa Rican authors, novels, short stories, and poems. The most exciting news was that the disc could be acquired totally free by registering at a public library and then taking a book home. On the following day at 8 a.m., many young people were taking the books of local artists home and along with them, the first soundtrack ever made for books. The results... More than 10,000 youngsters visited the libraries not only for the soundtrack album, but also for the books described in each song. For the first time ever, four songs made to musically describe a work of literature rose to the top position on different music charts. Social networks were bombarded with positive comments about the project. Huge free media coverage was given to the project, also placing Costa Rica's national literature in its deserved position. One of the music videos from the project even reached MTV. And the most important achievement realized was that we created a new trend in the younger generations of reading about the literary heritage and culture of Costa Rica.